Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, registered dietitian, and I'm here with Chef Manuel Marini, executive chef. And we are on location at Wisteria Hideaway Bed and Breakfast. And I'd like to introduce uh, Miss Brenda Anderson, owner. Thank you for coming. Well, so Brenda, did you ever expect to have a successful cooking show right here in your kitchen? No, but I'm very excited about you guys being here. Well, tell us a little bit about Wisteria Hideaway. We've been in our operation for about 11 years now. Uh, we have four guest rooms and all overnight accommodations, of course, uh, include a full breakfast. Uh, we've got um, rooms that range from um, king and queen beds. Um, all of the rooms are a different uh, decor throughout the house. Well, do any of your guests ever ask for a healthy breakfast? Actually, quite often. Uh, people are, are watching their diets more often now, um, and we try to accommodate um, either food habits or allergies if we can help them avoid those things. Well, and you know, today with uh, everyone trying to lose weight or we've got people who are on uh, uh, heart-healthy diets, which is a focus of our show at Memorial Health System, uh, it's good to know that some people can come to a bed and breakfast and ask for a heart-healthy meal. Yes, and I'm looking forward to having some new, new recipes today as well, well. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for having us, Brenda, and let's get cooking. Thank you. So, Chef Manny, what are we cooking today? Well, today we're going to do the traditional eggs benedict with the English muffin, the sauté spinach, Ooh. and the poached eggs. And uh, one good thing I want to show you is how to poach egg. A lot of people think just put some water in it and... Yes. Sometimes they ask me, how come my eggs doesn't really come out as pretty as I've seen them? Yes. So I'm going to show you a little trick to that. And then we're going to do it. We're going to do a fresh fruit flambe in a crepe. How do you, Ooh, what do you think about good. that? Sounds wonderful. So, now, now, I want to ask you about that Eggs Benedict because, you know, when we, uh, when we developed this recipe, we started with uh, Eggs Benedict, but then we switched. We took out that high-fat hollandaise sauce hollandaise, of course. and replaced it with a spinach saute that you're going to show us in a Right, minute. and then we're going to top it off with a little cheddar. Yes. Right, yes. so it'll be a little different, uh, but a little healthier. A fat-free free cheddar. cheddar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So, I got some boiling water here. Okay. Okay, now here's the trick to it. All right. We're going to add just a little pinch of salt, okay? okay. Just a little bit, all, all right. right? Just to all flavor right. the eggs on the outside, okay? Okay, all right. Now, once we get the water boiling, we're going to add a little bit of white vinegar. Vinegar? Yeah, it, okay. it holds the egg together. Okay, now okay? I didn't know that. So, so this we're just is gonna one put of those a little, tricks. One of those tricks. So we're going to get okay. this thing to boil real good. All right. I got some eggs there. Okay. Um, see as it, as it boils? So mm -hmm. what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do two eggs, okay? All right. One for one me three. and one for you. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and crack the eggs. All right. And you're going to see it kind of boil together. Now, see, I always thought, you know, as a dietitian, I thought I have to do these separately or else they'll all get mixed together. But those Oh, you could probably together. put five or six, seven, eight eggs there and, it, and it'll just bond itself. Okay. So we're good. So as, as it boils, we're just going to, and I got a perforated spoon because when we pick it up, we yeah. want the liquid to fall, okay? Yeah. So okay. we're going to let it sit there for a few minutes. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and saute our spinach. Okay. First of all, you could do two things. I got some nice English muffins here. Ooh. Okay, and we also talked about doing a whole wheat. But yeah. well, we actually decided not to do the whole wheat English muffin because sometimes a whole wheat uh, bread product is higher in sodium than a non-whole wheat, and so this would be an example of when you don't choose a whole wheat because in this particular recipe we're right on the edge of our sodium uh, uh, limit. Okay. Okay. So here I got a nice little pan. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. And dab a little butter, okay? Yeah. Just a little bit. Because what I really want to do is I want to brown my uh, English muffins. Okay. I'm place them upside down. Okay. okay. We're going to leave them there for a few minutes. Okay. Here's the other one. All right. Okay. And in, in this recipe, you notice that we're going to put one egg on half a muffin. So we're saving uh, some calories there and also some carbohydrate. And the other thing is I was mentioning how we're kind of on the edge with our sodium. Recall from past shows that we've talked about potassium foods help offset the impact of sodium on blood pressure. So if this recipe is a little high in sodium, let's pair it with something high in potassium. We'll talk about that in a minute. Beautiful. Okay. So once we get this going, our eggs are going nice brown. Ooh, looks good. Okay. okay. If you don't mind, so you want we're going to put both of them here, okay? Okay. Just always be careful because they're hot. You can okay. put it right there on the side. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a little bit of olive oil. All right. Or very little, because we're going to saute 
our onions. Okay. We're going to saute our onions. And this is that part where you always tell us that you're going to sweat the onions. Sweat the onions a little bit, okay? okay. And for those who have not seen the show before, uh, that basically just means bringing the flavor out, huh? That's it. So you're just cooking them until they're a little soft. A little soft. Now we're going to add a few mushrooms, okay? okay. We don't want too many. Okay. Because right. the best part to me is the spinach. Well, that's a good start right there is uh, uh, onions and uh, mushrooms. Okay, so we're going to just let this cook off a little bit. Okay. All right. Our eggs are looking good. Now, on okay. the eggs, it all depends on how you like it. Soft. Yeah. boiled or poached or you know mm -hmm. so we're gonna do like a medium okay okay so I kind of lower down a little bit my uh, my fire yeah. lower it down a little bit so it'll yeah. cook while we get this out and this is one of those things that we can we can actually get it all done at one time so, okay. okay you know ready for breakfast last minute yeah. everybody gets on yeah. the table and you know you do this so and, and it's really it's fun now it's chef, chef Manny everybody in our audience is not a certified chef like you are and so in, in, in our recipe, you see us saute. You're doing this actually a little differently than how the recipe states. And by the way, you can go online at memorialhealth.org and download these recipes. And uh, so you can watch and see how Chef Manny does it. And then sometimes we kind of simplify the procedure, make the steps a little more one at a time for people who aren't trained chefs, yeah, and like me. Well, and but would you like to have fun cooking? Exactly. So that's what yeah. makes it good. Yeah. So if you don't mind, Tim, Shake that a little bit. Yeah. I got and my spinach right here, Tim. Yeah. So I got some baby spinach, which I love baby mm. spinach. Okay. Now, we're going to put a whole bunch, but once you cook it off, it, it reduces down. So you really don't have that much volume. So we want to have plenty of it. Look at the dark, deep green color of the spinach. It's, it's an indicator to you that uh, of its nutritional value. And in fact, spinach is one of those foods. Uh, it's, a, it's a nutrition powerhouse. It has uh, 11 different flavonoids in it that act as antioxidants and anti-cancer agents. It's good to know. So spinach is a good thing to eat. We should thing. eat this on a regular basis. So With, Whether it's cooked or raw, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. So in this recipe where we're taking the traditional eggs benedict and turning this into, with the spinach, an eggs florentine, we're making a very good uh, trade for that high-fat hollandaise sauce. Good. You ready for these? No, not yet. No? I want to cook the spinach down on just a little bit more. Okay. I also wanted to mention that I did throw my garlic. I usually save yep. the garlic for last, right? Yes. Okay, but I, this time I kind of stuck it right there, right before the spinach. Okay, now so tell me flavor. why. You know, this is just one of those things that I really wanted that uh, garlic kind of roast flavor. Or, okay, you know. so... so so but that's my preference on this part of it. Well, and you know, this is something that I've learned from you. You know, I always just would do the onions and put the garlic in and then, but I've learned from you that depending on how strong you want that garlic to flavor is when you put it it's in. when you put uh, it in, uh-huh. Okay, so the, so the sooner you, you put it in. you can smell it right now, too. Mm -hmm, smells so. wonderful. So the sooner you put that garlic in, the more strongly you taste it. Taste it. it. Okay. All right, Tim. So right. see? Okay. We got that done. So, if you don't mind, hold that for me. Yep. We're going to go ahead and... I might have done that. Not well. So this is really good. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, not only does this smell wonderful, but uh, it looks healthy. And you know what? If you like peppers and onions, you got yep. some in there, why yep. not throw it in there, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Peppers are really good for you. Yep, they are. Very Lots of vitamin. Vitamin C, yes, and, and other nutrients, too. Beautiful. And you know, in this dish, you know, a lot of times for breakfast, we think, okay, it's either going to be cereal or it's going to be uh, bacon and eggs. But actually, uh, there are so many options for breakfast. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, here you're having a, you're, you're working in some vegetables you right here, Tim. for your breakfast. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, our egg. Okay. See? It all kind of holds together. I'm just gonna top it off. What do you think okay. about that? Look this at that. Is, this is, and this it's is nice so and elegant. soft, right? Yes. You know, I don't like that yolk cook hard. I like it runny. Some people yeah. like it hard, but yeah. you know, yeah. it's always nice. I'm the then same. we can top it off like this. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's beautiful. So what do you think? Oh, I think this is incredible. Okay. So eggs Florentine. 
Ex florentine with the little mushrooms and garlic. Huh? And here we've taken a traditional, you've actually combined two traditionals with this, the, uh, the chicken florentine with the eggs benedict. Is that, is that true? That's true. That's okay. true. So, and you know, uh, oyster Rockefellers are done that way. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so, and, and you end up here with an elegant uh, breakfast that is colorful. And you know, it doesn't matter that this is packed with uh, antioxidants and vitamins. What matters is your palate notices a flavor uh, explosion. That's true. Now, Chef Manny, for, that, for those of us who don't uh, poach eggs all the time, how do you tell when that egg is done? Well, that's pretty simple. Um, you saw me pull it out of the water. Yeah. If you, once you pull it out and then you have your spoon here, just yeah. touch the center of the egg. Okay. And that tells you exactly if that's what you like How or not. liquid or but, how congealed yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. The softer, okay. the liquid area, and then, yeah. then the, of course, the tougher, the, the harder. quicker it is, yeah. the harder it is. So. Okay. You know, it's just, you know, you and I like it like a more like a medium. It's kind of runny, but not yeah. too runny. You know, you know so. I have to tell you this, Chef Manny. Uh, Monsignor Young up in Nacogdoches, he's at Sacred Heart Church. He said, uh, I saw your show, and you know what he said about you? What did he say? He said, that Manny knows his stuff. <laughs> so now I don't want that to go to your head. Okay. So, All right. so you we'll just keep like teaching that, huh? us. Yeah, we'll that's leave right. It like that. Okay, so what's what's next on our menu? Today? Next on our menu is going to be the crepes. Okay. Let's do the crepes. Ooh. That's pretty simple. We All got right. some. Uh, we got some. Uh, now wait a minute. Eggs. Now wait a minute. You're saying that crepes are simple? They are. All right. Okay. And I'm gonna need your that? assistant with this. So okay. We got some flour. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here. Yep. We got some sugar. Yep. Okay. okay we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Yep. We're gonna add. You know what? I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter, and okay. that's gonna help us from from cooking. We, a crepe, it's a typical, it's almost like a pancake, but yep. real thin. Yeah. All right? So the butter is going to help us from uh, cooking on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and melt a little bit of butter. Okay. Because we're going to end up using this pan at the same time. You know, a lot of people think that crepes are a very hard thing to make. Oh, they're easy. Yeah. Well, and that's what you're going to show us. And the other point I wanted to make there is, is you can get pre-made crepes at the uh, grocery store. But I can tell you it's not the same. Uh, the flavor is in the freshness. Uh, it's the, the difference is uh, fresh home-baked bread compared to store-bought bread. That's the difference. That's okay? right. Okay, okay so, so I am going to melt a little bit of butter. Okay. okay. We're going right. to add it to our mix. All right. Okay. Now, so Chef Manny, that doesn't bit. look like a little bit of butter. Well, we're going to save some. Okay. I'm going to put oh, some okay. on. You're, you're going to use, okay. And then you got some uh, skim milk. You know, i got to keep him on, on, uh, and trust uh, on me, his toes here. You do. That's the okay. dietitian part of this show. This is going to be your part, okay? Okay. <laughs> we're going to add the eggs. Right. I get to whip? You get to whip. Okay. We're going to add the eggs. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add our milk. All right. So we got milk and egg. Okay. And if you'll go online, you can see our recipes and see your amounts. Of course, he never measures anything because he knows what to do. But I have Here, to measure I saved everything. a little bit, okay? okay? In case, you know, you're, at, you're pouring the flour, right? Go ahead okay. and mix that. Okay. You're pouring the flour in there. Okay. And let's just say we added just a little too much flour. Then okay. we can add the rest of the milk. A little milk, more okay? milk. I see. Okay. And then just like anything else, Tim, we always got to try it. Yeah. So we're going to yeah. do a batch to see if we need a little bit more or not. You know, when we were talking about this recipe, does anyone remember those? This is a little vanilla, okay? A little vanilla, We want okay. a little vanilla flavor to it, okay? Yeah. Does anyone remember those beaters that your grandmother or great-grandmother used to have that you did like this? I like those. I think I still have a, 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 some of those at my house. Should have brought them for the show, huh? Well, uh, I like you. I like you put you to work. But you don't need them for this. No. Okay. A little bit of sugar. Okay. 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 See how and easy now, this is. Just a little bit of little butter. A little bit of butter. Keep keep stirring when you add that because that hot butter you don't want it to uh, cook uh, your egg. Cook the egg. That's right. Okay. I'm learning. You know, he's teaching me as we go. You now, I got another pan. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of it, okay? All right. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. We've got to hit our, uh, our healthy guidelines with this. So if you go to the grocery store, uh, look in and see what's in your shopping cart. Do I have vegetables? Do I have fruits? Do I have 
uh, eggs? Do I have flour? And do I have lean meats or do I have high fat meats? And all of this, you know, eating healthy is not about self-denial. It's about inclusion. Good job, Tim. In, okay. Okay. So we're going to try the first one. Okay. Okay. Now, you don't want it too, too hot, okay, Tim? All right. It's still a little cold, but you want to put just a, a little bit, and what you do is you start turning your pan, okay. and it, as it heats up, it It, it starts to, to stick it. to the bottom of the pan. Stick to the bottom. So we still need it a little bit hot. So we're going to try okay. with that one. Okay. So look, as, as, as we evened it out, it started to cook. So I noticed when you poured that crepe in there, uh, you didn't really put enough to cover. It, it was like... Uh, well, you want it thin. You don't want a pancake or, yeah, you know, you want yeah. it real thin. And, and, and by rolling it around, like you said... You're spreading it, yeah, Yeah, evenly. you got a very thin layer uh, all, so all over. Yeah, so that's pretty good, huh? Oh, that's beautiful. So we're gonna, okay, you want a plate for yeah, that? Yeah, give me a, let me cook the uh, other side, okay. brown it up a little okay. bit. We'll cook right. a couple of these, okay, Tim? You know, these are so easy. After you showed me this recipe, I went home and, and, uh, and tried this, and uh, uh, I was amazed at how easy it was to make crepes. It is. You know, I thought uh, crepes were fancy. You, you know, the thing about crepes is that you can make the whole batter, yeah. and if you're just going to use two or three or four, yeah. put some parchment paper in between each yeah. one, wrap it real nice and yeah. tight, and put it in your freezer. So wax paper would work? Wax paper would okay. work. Okay. Okay, right. so we're going to go ahead and... Let it let out here, because we're gonna do saute our fruit. Yeah. All right. So you go ahead and roll that one. Yeah. And we're gonna do another one, Tim. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna straighten this out. There you go. Put okay. it right there, and we're gonna make right. one more. All right. One for each of us. You know, in fact, when I did these at home, uh, I really was expecting this to be a lot harder than it was. Now, so you didn't put any more oil in no, there. No, because we enough. started the first one, and there's yeah. plenty of it left. So. Yeah. So. Plus, okay. don't forget the batter has some. See how he's rolling that around to get a very thin... Even. Uh, he's just working that pan to get a thin, even coat on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let it brown a little bit. All right. And then on this one right here, we're gonna, I'm going to lower this down a little bit. We're going to saute our bananas, Ooh. our strawberries. Okay. All right, we'll saute it a little bit yeah. with a little bit of sugar. Yeah. And we're going to finish it off with a little brandy and banana liqueur. And some orange juice. And some orange. Squeeze a little orange juice to yeah. top it off. Okay? You know why I wanted to get that orange juice in there? Because earlier I was telling you that if our other recipe uh, is a little high in sodium, I want to pair that with foods that are high in potassium to offset the impact on blood pressure. Because remember, potassium offset sodium uh, in blood pressure. And so uh, we're going to, uh, for our crepes, we're going to add three uh, foods that are very high in potassium. Of course, we all know bananas, also strawberries, and orange juice. Oranges. Okay. So, we so you, you chose those just for flavor, uh, but, but uh, it turns out... It's just out, a great combination. Yeah. It turns yeah. out it's really good for you. It turns out it's healthy. That's right. So here's our other one. Okay. So... so so here we see something that's healthy, and uh, you know we don't have to choose foods because they're healthy. Let's choose them because uh, fresh fruits taste good, and the fact that they're high in uh, antioxidants. Well, we'll we'll take that too. So healthy eating doesn't have to be self denial. It's all about inclusion. We got to include those vegetables and those fruits. Beautiful. Here, here we're getting vegetables for breakfast. Nice. Yeah. I get excited about stuff like this. Beautiful. <laughs> I know you do. But this is all fun and so easy, yeah. right? Yeah. So here we got some nice clean strawberries. Okay. What we're going to do, Tim, I got some butter there, or uh, right. margarine. Okay. We're going to go ahead and quarter these. And we could use butter. In this case, we didn't because we used egg for the crepe. And, uh, well, or actually, for the, we used egg for the eggs benedict. Uh, in fact, a lot of our recipes, we do choose uh, uh, butter over margarine. But in this case, just to kind of lower our cholesterol, we chose the margarine instead. And this is one of those that probably wouldn't make a big difference. Yeah. But yeah. yet it's healthier. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. And these crepes, now, we're doing these as an accompaniment for a, 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 a breakfast here at the Bed and Breakfast. But these would be delicious dessert crepes for any meal, huh? Yes, it would. Okay, now speaking of that, Chef Manny, if, what if we wanted to do the same recipe, only we didn't uh, want 
uh, if it was like another time of let's day. Let's say, for instance, it's a lunch, a oh, light lunch. Okay. Instead of doing the eggs, okay. let's do a chicken. Okay, so chicken, we get a chicken actually, breast. A chicken breast, a nice, okay. soft chicken breast. Okay. Okay, so we got our strawberries and bananas. That looks really good. Oh, it's beautiful. So we're going to add a Smells little bit good. of sugar. Yeah. Okay. Just Maybe. a little bit, not much, okay? Yeah. You're going to get some browning with that. That's all it is. And now you could have used uh, an artificial sweetener here. I could have used sweet and low. Yep. And we've done yep. a lot of recipes with sweet yep. and low, which is yep. a little better. Yep. I thought, you know, just a little sugar because we're mm -hmm. also having our brandy or yep. a little banana liqueur. It's got sugar in it, but yep. it's also got a little flavor to it. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and warm this up a little bit. Yeah. I wish I could learn to do that. That's one thing I haven't quite gotten yet. But and I'll show you one day. Yeah. I will show you yeah. how to do it. How yeah. we were taught at school. You, so you, you told me that last show, and we still haven't done it. Okay, and I'll promise you. <laughs> I'll promise you that I'll show you. Okay, we've got that on film. He has promised. Okay, okay. so it's and, and you notice I slow heat. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I want everything to warm up. If we do it too hot or brown too fast or yeah. kind of wilt a little bit, but we just want it like this. So on on a medium, would you say medium, medium heat? Medium. Okay. Okay. All right. So All right. I got a little banana liqueur. Okay. We have bananas. Yeah. You could use uh, Grand Marnier if you have yeah. some at home, Grand Marnier, uh, and yeah. we got a little brandy because yep. yep. most 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 of the time you do have a brandy or a rum. Yeah. Can you use rum? Sure, you can. Yeah. You just okay. want that flavor, right? We yep. just want a little bit. Okay. Now, when we talk about flambe, it's very be very careful, especially this is this is. Uh, uh, this is not a gas burner, right, that we right. use. But if I was but to have you, gas, a gas stove, be careful. It's Here's flammable. what I would do. This is real Very flammable. flammable. Okay. So you pull away from it, of course. Okay. You add a little bit, okay. and then just bring it slowly to the fire and let the alcohol burn. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. So never pour it right on top because surprise. Fire hazard, yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Well, you so know. So this way, we're, we're actually going to burn the alcohol out of it okay. slowly. Okay. okay. So if I'm not, if I'm someone that I just don't believe in drinking alcohol, or I, or maybe I have a medical condition, I don't want alcohol. What I'm hearing you say is, is that uh, by by heating this, you're actually burning away the alcohol. The alcohol, you, and you just get the flavor. That's why you smell it, huh? Yeah. Okay. See that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna smooth it out with a little bit of orange juice. There's okay. That, there's that potassium. Now this here, was a really juicy one too. Yeah. Here again, you could use a, a you know a good orange juice from a, a bottle, but you know the flavor is in the freshness. We we flavor see that in the freshness. we see that over and over again in our recipes. You know why do we settle for stale bread and uh, dehydrated onions and frozen dinners? Why do we settle for these things? You know there's you see how easy it is to make this, and but we we do that, don't we? We do. So, looks good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the center because okay, we're going right to fold there. these, okay, Tim? Okay, all right. And the, I'm telling you, this is a, this is a great dessert any time, oh, breakfast, wonderful. all right? Okay. Top it off with maybe a sugar-free ice cream if you like. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. But not for breakfast. Not for breakfast. Yeah. But for a nice lunch. Yep, yep. We'll turn this baby off. Okay. We'll go ahead and we're going to fold these, okay, Tim? Okay. Real nice. He always makes this look so easy. Okay. Okay. And now, Tim, we'll just add a little bit of cream. Okay. Okay. This is right. a non-dairy, yeah, fat-free, sugar-free. Sugar-free, fat-free, yeah. So this goes on any diet. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then I have a little juice here. Not yeah. much, but a little bit that we're just going to top it off and, like that. Maybe some fresh mint leaves or something like that. Well, or even maybe some of those slivered almonds. Exactly. You know, anytime you can work in some nuts to any dish, you're adding some uh, a lot of different beneficial nutrients. Here we are including things again. So and healthy good. eating is about you. inclusion. Well, uh, Chef Manny, I wanted to make sure that I mentioned uh, that or. I wanted to make sure that we welcome our new viewers from Harriman, Tennessee. Uh, Isn't that great? That's huh? right. Cablecom picked us up there in Harriman. And, uh, and you know, they're restoring their Princess Theater right there in the downtown historic district. So, That's good so, to know. Yeah, it was kind of cool to go on their website and see about that. So welcome, you guys. We're glad you're with us. Or I guess I should say y'all, since you, you all are from Tennessee and we're from Texas. Texas. Huh. You know, since we're doing breakfast, I had a viewer ask me about 
how do I choose a healthy cereal? And that's a good question because you're basically looking for two things in cereal. You want low sodium and high fiber. And I have a couple of examples. Now, I'm not necessarily promoting a brand here. I just wanted to read you these uh, nutrition facts boxes. Uh, here's a cereal that has six grams of fiber per serving. That's good. That's good. A lot of cereals you find uh, have uh, two grams of fiber. Uh, this same cereal, you know how much sodium there is in it? How many? Zero, Zero. milligrams. Well, that's good, though. That's very good because a lot of times cereals can range anywhere from 150 to 200 milligrams of sodium. This particular oat bran, uh, you know what the ingredients are on this? Oat. Oat bran. <laughs> There's nothing else in here. No sugar, no flavor, and that's nothing. Good. That's almost yeah. like that peanut butter that we did. It's just peanuts. It's just peanuts, yeah. And so uh, in this one, you've got six grams of fiber and zero milligrams of sodium. I like to combine a whole wheat cereal in a bowl, put a little bit of oat bran, add you some nuts, some berries, maybe some unsalted seeds, pumpkin or sunflower seeds. And so you build from that a very healthy and delicious cereal. Great way to start the day. Huh? Great, great way to start. Tim, I got a surprise for you. You know, after we did this wonderful meal, we got to top it off with something to drink. Okay, yeah. We got, you know, we got some nice uh, sauteed spinach and mushrooms and a poached egg. Yeah. And then we also got our... So what are we going to drink? So we're going to do a... No, now, wait a minute. We, we didn't rehearse this part. No, I know. This is a surprise I have for you. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a non-alcoholic mimosa. Ooh, mimosa. What do you think okay, about that? Okay, that sounds good. You know, okay. at Brookshire's, which is Here. one of our sponsors, right? Yeah. yeah. I got this uh, apple cider, which yeah. is non-alcoholic, which is okay. great. Okay. It's really good. So let me get my little opener because it, it does require for us to... Uh, you know, uh, you mentioned Brookshire's, a celebration of food and family. family. Uh, uh, they're one of our sponsors. Also, we'd like to thank uh, the city of Lufkin because of uh, because they film and distribute Memorial Cooking Innovations. Uh, you know, we're in uh, eight cities across Texas now, and we've just, as we mentioned earlier, picked up uh, Harriman, uh, Tennessee. Okay, so you start with your strawberries. Strawberries. We're going to add a little bit of orange juice. All right. Okay. So, so Brenda could do these, uh, oh, these virgin mimosas for her guests. For her guests. This is, it's a, all it is is apple. Okay. Apple, so it, bubbly apple. So okay. we're just going to go ahead and do that. And it's really wonderful. So it's about half it's nice and, and, and half refreshing. Then, yeah. is what you're doing. Okay. So it's nice and refreshing too. Ooh. You know? Okay. So okay. Ooh, that looks delicious. Again, this was a simple, yeah. you know, we could do it late, at, late in the afternoon. We could do a nice sauteed chicken with spinach and, yes. a, and a nice English yes. muffin. Nothing, it doesn't hurt much at all. Well, let's, let's see how this tastes. So here's Cheers. to uh, Memorial Cooking Innovations. And huh? our bread and breakfast here. Yes, huh? that's right. So and, wonderful here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's refreshing. Oh, that's good, huh? You know, on a, on, a, on a hot summer afternoon, this would be good. This is great. Maybe on a hot summer morning, it'd be good. Okay, so today we've learned that uh, fresh crepes really are not that hard. Not at all. And, and also the poaching. Yes. Remember, the, a little bit of vinegar, a little yes. salt in your water, throw your eggs, let it cook slowly. How do, how do we know when they're ready? Yeah. We, you know, just we pull it up, it. touch the top, and mm -hmm. see how smooth it is or how jiggly it is. Yes. And then you'll know this is what you want or not. And then, of course, it's so easy to put together. And we've learned that in foods, the flavor is in the freshness. Definitely. The more fresh ingredients you can choose, of course, you don't always use fresh ingredients, but the more you can choose, the more flavor you're putting into that food. And today we also learned that potassium offsets the impact on blood pressure of sodium. And so we want to include fruits and vegetables. These are where we find potassium. It's another good reason. It's, this is why our grandmothers said, eat your fruits and vegetables. Maybe they didn't know the blood pressure part, but this is another good reason to it's do to what know. grandmother said, huh? Definitely. So thank you for joining us uh, here on Memorial Cooking Innovations, and thank you, Brenda, for ho uh, hosting us here at the Wisteria uh, Bed and Breakfast, and we'll see you next time as we continue exploring food on Memorial Cooking Innovations.